This week marked one year since the COVID-19 pandemic began, and of course it's had an impact in virtually every part of society, including our mental health and the way we deal with stress. Joining us now with more on this is Nirmala Reniga, the founder of the Chopra Addiction and Wellness Center. Thanks for your time on the Saturday. Good afternoon, uh, Jordan. It's a beautiful day on the West Coast today. It certainly is, and that makes a difference, I find at least. It's been, of course, though, a trying year with many of us socially isolated from our friends and family. So how can people better cope with the stress and anxiety they're continuing to experience amid the pandemic? Well, you know, research uh, shows um, from the Canadian Mental Health that uh, over 40% reported, 40% uh, of people reported that their mental health actually deteriorated from March of last year. And also, um, we know that due to stigma and due to um, shame, uh, people don't actually reach out for help when they are suffering with uh, mental health issues like anxiety, depression, uh, any form of trauma. And this uh, COVID-19 pandemic has really pushed people more into uh, places like um, not knowing the uncertainty, uh, the fears, uh, just the financial well-being, all those things has impacted people's uh, mental health. But there's lots we can do to cope with uh, mental health. There's lots of resources out there. The first one is just like today's a beautiful day. Mm -hmm. Go out and enjoy, go for a walk. And, um, you know, still maintaining that uh, physical social distance. And, and the good news, Jordan, as we know that the, the province is rolling out uh, vaccines for everyone and everybody's, you know, people have choice to get vaccinated. Um, it's just because if somebody gets their vaccination today and somebody gets it in two months, uh, we are all in this together. We are all on the same journey. And until um, the province feels it's safe enough to open up for everyone, we all will get to connect. We'll, we all will get to enjoy and travel. Uh, we all feel that, uh, you know, like for myself and all of us, we haven't been, we can't plan, we can't have a vacation, we can't go for a picnic with family. And uh, so there's lots of um, hope. I, I believe that this vaccination is a hope and we can do more. Um, some of the other things that are really, really helpful in um, coping with this stress and anxiety is um, meditation and mindfulness. It's a beautiful tool, movement, exercise, making sure that you get your uh, good sleep. I know that tonight uh, yes. uh, we're going to move forward with the, the time. So sleep is important. Do you find that in many cases people have just almost rediscovered the simpler things in life in this last year? I mean, I noticed beside you, you have some beautiful flowers and it, it seems like everywhere I go in my neighborhood, certain people have rediscovered gardening and we know that gardening stores are, uh, have never been busier in many cases. Yes, absolutely. I mean, we have uh, had to become um, a lead a simpler life. Mm -hmm. We are not uh, going out as much and spending money on um, social socializing, drinking. Of course, uh, research also shows that more people have um, increased their uh, in alcohol consumption. But um, gardening, last year we know more people uh, engage time in gardening. And it's good to get grounded. We know uh, Earth is one of the, the elements of grounding. So when you get a chance, go out, put your hands uh, in the garden, plant something and, and grow. And especially on the West Coast, we are actually quite blessed with the, the weather when we get into the nicer days. And, uh, um, you know, the other thing is emotional regulation. Jordan is very, very important. When we are stressed, we activate the fight and flight response that releases cortisol in our body. It's it not what it does is there's a long term damage, like when you activate it all the time. And all of us have been activating this at some point about the pandemic. We've been feeling stressed, but when you cont continuously do that, it's your risk at different um, illnesses, heart disease, high blood pressure, low immunity. So, um, mindfulness, meditation, all these things actually help. Uh, the more we become present, like you said, stopping by and looking at the flowers and, and be uh, with what's going on now, because anxiety is about the future, the uncertainty. So if we can take a pause and, and take some deep breaths and just enjoy the moment, you know, we will all get through this 
together. I mean, I believe we'll get through this together. And we have we have lots to learn as a community, as the world um, is going through this process. I mean, we have lost a lot of people. People have experienced, um, you know, deep, deep sadness. Some people haven't been able to attend funerals. I know just a couple of weeks ago, somebody passed away who I knew very well. I wasn't able to attend funeral. And so we're just learning new ways of uh, how to deal with this. And I believe it's temporary. This is not permanent. Um, and there is hope. Hey, well said. Like the flowers beside you, hopefully brighter days are ahead. And this is great information you've given, uh, given us for helping us cope. Nirmala, thank you so much for your time today. Yes, and wishing everybody a beautiful day.